It's been a minute. I understand I said I was going to do this way earlier than I did. Got busy. Today I'm in the IS-4. The recently buffed IS-4, it got a small DPM buff. And... It's fast. First things first, I'm in a platoon with Legendary 602. He is a really, really good friend of mine. I platoon with him all the time. In fact, I just got off a of platoon with him. And I'll be showing you a few games in a later video about that. And the heroics of platoon mates on the same map, by the way. So that's kind of convenient. That's kind of funny. But anywho, the IS-4. After the recent buffs, it has an 8.6 running rammer. I'm running calibrated to where I have that 373 millimeters of heat pen. That's not what we're here for today. We're here today to see how well this tank performs in a position like this. Two things to note. This thing is not only quick, it's got a really good gun. As you can see, incredible pen, good accuracy, good alpha, like, not only that, you're mobile. Like, this thing is pretty fast, despite how it looks. And my legendary is getting nuked behind me, as you can see. And the AMX is going for him, so he's just getting nuked. But I'm keeping these guys from completely pushing, so that's nice. I've already up to 2,400 damage. Yeah, this is going to be a high damage one. That's just derpy rushing guns right there. There's not much I could do better to aim there. Mirat's running away. Figgy thinks it's a good idea to peek me when I'm staring at him, so that's not a great idea. The Legendary's on 600 hit points. He survives for a good point after this point in the game. I don't know where that hit. I think it lagged a little bit to the right of his turret instead of going where I aimed, so... That, I don't know where it went at all. I couldn't even make a guess. Hit the very left of his cupola, so I understand why that bounced. Murat's still there. VZ decides to go side out. It's not a good idea. VZ's got terrible side armor. Also, our E100 is playing really weird as well. And there goes the VZ. This type actually causes my teammate some hell. He starts pinning him in weird places. I'm trying to help my teammate, but it doesn't really help much. And now I'm getting flanked, so I've got to move up. I don't move up. We probably lose this a lot faster than we should. And my teammate's getting focused by the Murat. And gets killed by the Chieftain. So I'm going to go for the type. I'm going to ignore the Chieftain for now. I kind of have to. He tries to hash it. Doesn't pen. It's a good shell there, though. Now it's just the 50B to Murat and him. This thing can brawl. The final thing I wanted to say about this tank, you want to face hug. There goes the 50B. Chieftain knows not to push that. He realizes that I'm playing this really smart. Trying to help my team, trying to figure out decent shots here. There's the Vickers. And this is where you want to be, right here. I am now in a full face hug position. 
Chieftain's gonna have to hit somewhere else other than just normal shots. He has to hit my upper plate to get me. Don't know where I bounced there. Good job, Murat. That's a great idea. And 6,000 damage. I will say this, my teammate did do 2,000 damage. Legendary did do 2,000 damage as well. Or close to it, I think he did like 19-something. Which isn't a bad game in general, especially considering the fact that our team, two of our teammates, wasn't the greatest. Um... Overall, the tank. When you're looking at the IS-4 now, you want one thing and one thing only. You want to be face-hugging. This may sound stupid, especially against tanks like the U-100 and stuff because they're so tall. And you're like, oh, but what if the U-100 is running the big gun? Doesn't matter. Like I said earlier, with calibrated, you have 273 millimeters of heat pen. You will butter right through him. I promise you will. Doesn't matter. You also have really good armor and a face hug. You want to face hug. You want to. This might be the best face hugging tier 10 at the moment. You don't want to face hug against this. Like there's a few spots on the top of the turret that you can pen, but you have to really aim to hit those spots. And with this camo, it's really hard to hit those spots. You want the aim time, you want the dispersion, extra armor. This I say the defense system usually, but if you're going to be face-hugging a lot and getting in ram-type ram situ ram situations, and improved modules could help quite a bit. I still go defense system for that extra little boost there. Improved optics. This one's going to be surprising. For a tank that's actually decently fast, I want the whole turn rate. Because your whole turn rate's not terrible as it is. It'd be sitting at like 36. The extra 2 degrees a second, though, sitting at like 39 yeah that's ridiculous that's a huge difference i'd say toolbox for overall repairs because your tracks you're not going to get tracked as often as you think you would in this tank because if you look at the tracks they don't really cover a whole hell of a lot of the tanks so i'd say go toolbox here and then consumable delivery you want your consumables back as quick as possible just in case you lose a driver or something close to that then consumables are basic just the basic thing you could replace this for this I don't recommend doing that unless you're going for just like a get in their face as quick as possible strat but that would be for like 2v2 tournaments or something like that but in overall 7v7s you kind of want just the basic setup of adrenaline multi-purpose repair kit and your basic repair kit provisions I do the basic thing on the provisions I've had a lot of people tell me that the perfect Protective kit helps quite a bit, and I can probably see why, but I want the extra of everything that the extra food gives me. I just will take that over that any day. You could go for this, though, because it does up your turret turn ratio better than this does. I just want that extra DPM, accuracy, and everything. This improves everything. This does too, but this does it a little bit better than this does. Then for ammo, basic setup. I don't carry a lot of HE in this because I don't see a point in carrying a whole hell of a lot of HE in this tank specifically. You have a good HE shell, especially with Cali. You have 70 mils of pen. And you're sitting at around, I think, 515 alpha or 525 alpha with the HE. It's 500 flat, which is still really good. But overall, the tank is amazing right now probably one of the better tier 7 or tier 10 heavies sorry tier 7 heavies it's one of the better tier 10 heavies at the moment the is7 i think is really good and you can be really good in a face hug this is better in a face hug for two reasons that pike nose really fucks you because if they even angle a little bit they can hit that side a lot easier whereas with this what I hit? That's why. Okay. Yeah, say hi to the doggy. Hello, doggy. Anywho, 
with this thing you can't really hit that as well because it's kind of harder to hit in a face hook and this thing also turns a whole oh well it's kind of the same in terms of that actually it's exactly the same isn't it exactly the same so it turns exactly the same speed i think this thing is just faster it responds faster for some reason i don't know why but overall is4 is an amazing tank right now if i had to recommend if you've sold this tank before or haven't gotten it yet i recommend going for this it's really good it's fantastic i for its line you have it the st1 and the kv4 the kv4 is kind of mid the kv3 sucks the st1 is good you go from bad to okay to good then you get the is4 which is really good overall a plus it's a great tank and i will be doing video like i said with me and legendary Soto too i have a dull perspective on that of a game that we just finished on me and him in double cs 59 which i will do a short review on it too after i get done with the video describing how we won this game kind of pausing in between to show what we did what we had to do certain little things that we were talking about during the game to make it to where we could win that game other than that thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and have a nice day